Welcome to my channel and in this video I'll show you how to create your background video uh, with sound. Just listen. Now you can hear that uh, the sound was enabled and now if I click it again uh, it will be uh, disabled once again. So maybe you already know how to add videos to your cargo website, but I'll show you how to make it work with sound. Because if you use uh, just backdrops, uh, it won't be any sound. And if you add just a simple video, uh, you won't be able to control it completely. So you won't be able to place it like that. Now you see uh, no video player, so you see no controls and it works kind of smooth so i matched it uh, with my background color so literally this is a video with white background and uh, page background has uh, white color as well so let's start let's start with a blank page so you can see that there are no elements here yet so uh, let's add our video you need to click this file icon and upload your video here and when uh, the video is uploaded, you need to click on it. Like that and copy this link. Then uh, go to the code view and here we need to create two tags. First tag is going to be wrapper. So uh, let's say ID equals wrapper. And uh, also we need to close this tag. And here inside this tag, we need to create another tag called video. And with ID, uh, let's say my video. Uh, well, let's close it. And now I need to start defining uh, the property of this video. First of all, let's define its width equals 100% uh, height auto source and here we need to paste uh, the link to our file uh, next thing is type uh, I use mp4 video but if you uh, are going to use another type of video, you just need to change this part. Uh, just check they're supposed to be uh, the same as here. And uh, next thing uh, I need to add is autoplay. That's how uh, the video starts working uh, immediately when uh, a user enters the website. And loop. We also can uh, add muted here to make it muted but uh, actually uh, we're gonna do uh, this thing uh, in the script itself so this is important uh, part uh, do not add muted here well everything seems correct let's check yeah and now uh, we see our video we also can uh, control its placement and we can change background so you can now see the borders of my video but since i don't really need uh, this color so i'm just gonna remove it it's gonna remind white let's mute our video while we're working uh let's say muted but i'm going to remove this part afterwards so yeah now you can hear no sound and uh, let's start creating our button we need to uh create two tags one tag for wrapper with id uh, sound button and inside uh, this tag we need to create our text tag so i'm going to use h2 but you can use any other um, text tags like small body copy i recommend you do not use h1 but uh, you can use any other text styles uh, so let's say sound on off yeah and let's check how it looks here you, you can see our text and we can control its size right here and let's uh, go back and add some styling 
First of all, uh, I want to uh, create a border around this button. Border. Two pixels. Solid. I also want uh, to define its size. Uh, well, let's say uh, a bit. Two hundred pixels and height. Well, uh, fourteen pixels. Let's check. Well, I think I think something looks wrong. Yeah, I forgot to close uh, this thing, so it's supposed to be closed, and that's how we define the style inside uh, this blue thing. So, okay, let's check. And now you can see that uh, this is no alignment. So we need to uh, add something for alignment. First of all, uh, let's uh, add display flex. Uh, and align items center. And justify content. Center. Let's check now. Yeah, now everything except one thing works correctly. Let me check uh, where it is asleep. Justify. Oh, yeah, this is a uh, wrong thing. Uh, now, uh, now we can see that uh, the text is uh, in the middle of this button. Uh, next thing we need to do is to define its placement on our website. Uh, let's say position fixed button 15 pixels and left one, uh, no, 50%. Mm, no, it's wrong. Yeah, like that. And now you can see that uh, our button starts in the middle of our website. So we need to add some negative margin. Margin left. Minus 100 pixels. Yeah, now it looks correct. Okay, uh, let's also um, say that border radius equals uh, 100 pixels. Um, well, what else? I think it's fine now. We also need to add a hover row to CSS panel and uh, use our ID. Uh, well, uh, we're gonna use sound button ID and uh, also we need to type hover. And uh, here we need to change our background color. Uh, this is kind of handy, so you can choose options. Mm, where is our background color? Yeah. And uh, let's change it to something purple. Uh, maybe not that bright. Uh, I probably want it to be a little bit yeah, like that. Mm, yeah. Save and let's check. Now you can see uh, that color change when I uh, hover over this element. And uh, let's also uh, add the last styling here. Uh, I want to change my border color into black. And uh, well, I also want cursor to be pointer.
So let's check how it looks now. Uh, press save and uh, see uh, this element changed its color when I hover over it and uh, the cursor changed to a pointer. So, well, that's how user uh, may know that this is a clickable element. And I also don't like the size of my video. So it's getting uh, smaller uh, when I change my screen size, uh, but I don't really want it to be that large. Let's go back to our code view and uh, here we need to change its size. Uh, let's type style. And uh, define maximum uh, width. Let's say 1200 pixels. Mm, let's save it and let's check how it looks now. Yeah, now uh, it's a little bit uh, smaller so than it was before, you can see now. And it can uh, get smaller, but it cannot get larger than uh, the size I've just defined. And the last thing we need to do is uh, to make the script itself. Uh, let's open our code view and here you need to paste your script directly beneath that thing. Uh, you probably know that you can use other panels to uh, add your custom scripts, but I recommend you to do it here since uh, we need to control its placement. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, after this part of HTML. Uh, you will find this code below this video, so you could copy that. And if you uh, used another IDs for your element, uh, you will need to change them. Uh, you need to change video ID here, because uh, if you're gonna use another word for this video, you need to change it uh, here as well. And also I used this ID, sound button. Uh, so if you're gonna use another word for this ID, you need to change it here too. Uh, let's uh, save it and check how it works now. Well, I probably forgot uh, the most important thing that now I don't really need this muted uh, line and uh, I need to remove it, otherwise it won't work. And also uh, this is a line which is responsible for uh, this feature so now our video will be muted by default but if you wanted to start playing with sound uh, immediately you just need to remove this line okay now uh, it's supposed to be working save and um, let's check now now uh, we have no sound but if I click the button the sound appears if I click it again, there will be no sound once again. Thank you for watching and follow my channel to get more tips about Cargo Collective and other building platforms. And check my Instagram, uh, I post uh, lots of interesting things there. Goodbye.